Hey guys, today we're gonna to be drawing a twilight landscape. I'm using the iPad Pro with the Procreate app. If you're new to Procreate, I also have a video called 25 Procreate Tips and Tricks, which is good to watch first because as I draw, I'll be using these actions. I will link that video below. So I have my canvas right here and what we're gonna do first is enable our drawing guide. So let's go into settings, canvas, drawing guide. And this will help our horizon line stay straight. So next I have a color palette already selected. It's just a range of navies and some purple. So next I wanna grab an airbrush and it's just a soft brush. And we're gonna start with the lightest color of our blue and we're gonna draw a line just in the center. And then we're gonna do the same thing going up the colors. So this is the next blue. Until we have something like this. Then we're gonna go into our adjustments tool and then hit Gaussian blur. And we're gonna blur this. I'm gonna go to about 19 or 20%. So this will be our sky. So next we wanna duplicate this layer. Just go into the layer, swipe left and hit duplicate. Go to the arrow tool and flip vertical. And we're gonna bring this right down to the end of the canvas. And this is gonna be our lake. So we got two layers. One is the top, which is the sky and the bottom is the lake. So next we're gonna do some mountains. So we're gonna create a new layer. And I'm gonna grab maybe this blue right there, just a medium blue. And we're just gonna start in the middle. So we're gonna draw a straight line. If you want it really straight, don't let go of your pencil. And then we can continue drawing the mountain. And then just color drop that. And now with the same color, Actually, I might make it a tad bit darker. We can go to our disc. And then I'm gonna draw another mountain just on that same line. All right, so now I wanna add another mountain in the foreground. So I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna select a darker shade of blue. And I'm gonna put this mountain maybe right over here. Maybe we can just extend this a little bit. And I'm just gonna move this up a little bit too. Maybe right around there. And then we're gonna create another layer. We're just gonna put it underneath everything. And I just wanna add another mountain in the back, but this time I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. So I'm just gonna select one of those medium blues, just make it slightly lighter. And then just make sure you close that so you can color drop. And then I'm just gonna move this a little bit to the left. All right, so next we're gonna put a little bit of highlights onto these two. So first let's just disable our drawing guide. And I'm gonna go to this layer right here. I'm gonna hit on alpha lock. And alpha lock lets you draw within whatever you've drawn and not outside. So I'm gonna select a lighter shade of that blue. I'm gonna grab my airbrush and I'll show you what that means um, when we have the alpha lock on. I can only draw what's already been drawn. I can't draw outside. So we're gonna put a little bit of highlights. All right, so with this mountain over here, it's that layer. Let's enable the alpha lock and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna grab the color just by holding my finger on that color and it's gonna pop up in the color palette. Then we're gonna select a lighter shade of that. And then we're gonna put some highlights. 
This kind of really makes it, the mountain pop. Now for this mountain in the front, let's go to lat layer and enable alpha lock. This time I'm gonna go darker. So it's almost out of black. And then we'll go back to this layer, select this color, and then a darker shade. All right, next up we're gonna do the moon. So let's create a new layer just above the sky and the lake. We're gonna grab a white and we're gonna grab just the mono line brush and we're gonna do a circle. So to make a perfect circle, don't let go of the Apple Pencil and then hold your finger anywhere in the canvas and you can see it's a perfect circle. And then we're gonna fill that. Let's move this in the center. And then we're gonna duplicate this layer because we want it to glow. So let's go to the layer underneath that first one that we created. We're gonna to go to adjustments and bloom. So I'm gonna drag my pencil. I'm gonna to go to maybe 15%. Okay, let's go to the actual moon layer up above. We're gonna go and hit alpha lock and we're gonna select a gray. And I think that Procreate comes with this brush. It's under industrial and it's called Rusted Decay. And we're gonna create some craters in the moon. So just stamp it really lightly. Just like that. And there's your moon. So let's merge these two layers down. And then we're gonna duplicate this layer because we wanna make a reflection. And then we're gonna flip vertical and just move this down over here. I'm just gonna enable my drawing guide so that I can make sure I have it lined up correctly. So I'm at about one and a half. So if this is our horizon line, it's about one and a half squares down. So maybe like that. Okay, let's disable our drawing guide. And I wanna blur this one at the bottom, the reflection just a little bit. All right, so there is our moon and our reflection. And I do wanna make that less opaque, so let's go to that layer, hit the N, and just decrease that opacity. All right, next we're gonna do the reflections of the mountains. So I'm just gonna merge the three in the background. So it's like that. We're gonna duplicate that. We're gonna hit the arrow tool and flip vertical. And then we're gonna decrease the opacity. And we're gonna do the same thing with this mountain up here. So let's duplicate that. Arrow tool and flip vertical. And then we're gonna decrease the opacity on that one. And in real life, you're not gonna see the reflections of the ones behind, so I'm gonna erase that. Just erase these, or just erase this portion. And lastly, we're gonna add some stars. So let's create a new layer again above the water and the sky layer. We're gonna grab a white, and we're gonna browse Procreate for some splatters. So under Luminance, there's a brush called Glimmer. Hopefully you have it. Um, it's just gonna create an illusion of stars. So I'm just gonna just tap anywhere. And also within Luminance, you can do a lens flare. Just gonna decrease that. Maybe there's some shooting stars somewhere. And also under spray paints, there is a brush called fat nozzle or medium nozzle. 
This kind of gives the illusion of a shooting star. And now with this layer, let's duplicate that and hit the arrow tool and vertical flip. And then we're gonna decrease that opacity. And there you go, guys. There is your simple twilight landscape in Procreate. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. To get notified of more new videos where I teach you to draw, be sure to subscribe to Draw with Marina.